Hey YouTube, it's Sarah here. This is my two weeks update. Um, I went to the doctor yesterday for a follow up for a different, total different reason of surgery. Just had my foot um, follow up for pain. And they went me there and at my doctor's appointment, at the biatric doctor, my primary doctor office, which the scale sometimes a little off, but it matches my scale at home, so I'm going to go buy it. It says I weigh 285. So that means I lost three pounds this week. Um, which is good because I didn't think I was going to lose any because I was retaining water for most of the week. So, that's good. I'm probably still retaining water. <laughs> as far as my diet, I've been eating puree, but I haven't been pureeing my food itself. I just make the chicken or whatever. Mostly chicken I've been eating. Mostly. I'll just eat small bites and chew it up, chew it up to a soft consistency in my mouth. As disgusting as it sounds, that's what I have to do. Um, there's times where I have eaten certain type of chicken, like I'll season it differently or make it differently, and it'll start hurting my stomach, so I'll listen to your stomach. Listen to your body when it starts to hurt. Please stop eating it. Um, I can't eat more than a few bites still, so I have to eat constantly throughout the day just to get enough calories in. Oh, my arm is getting tired. So, what else? Mm, I've been feeling nauseous mostly at night, so I'll take my na nausea medication. I don't have the patch right there. I hear people got my patch, but I just got pills. I'll just take one at night. That's it and go to bed and deal with it. Um, as far as pain goes, I don't feel the normal pain that I felt in the beginning. It's more soreness towards the right side, more where the scar is, you know, where they tie the knot at. Um, and when I sit down too long and get up, it just feels like I just been kicked. That kind of feeling. It does hurt at times. When the more I move, the more it hurts. But to heal, you have to move. So it just contradicts itself. You can't not just stay still just because it hurts. Um, it's not really that bad. It's just annoying. It is really, really annoying. I cannot bend down still on that side. Um. I could slightly bend down, but not all the way. My left side, I could bend down fine. Just my right side, not so much. I had to do a ballet move where one leg goes up and the other one stays down. <laughs> um, as far as my weight, since I lost 3 pounds this week, that's a total of 20 pounds since surgery. 31 since I started all this. People just started noticing it. Um, my boyfriend just noticed skin today. Yeah, honey, you got extra skin. Congratulations. Not a good, not a good topic, really. <laughs> um, my clothes are getting bigger. Well, I'm getting smaller. My clothes are getting bigger. It's getting baggier, so um, that's good. I have some clothes that I put away that I couldn't could could fit me for a while. This is the one X that sweater that fits me now, and it's actually I can tell, but kind of big. So. This is one of my gym shirts I normally wear. It's really tight fitting, which helps my stomach because when I notice, because of extra skin, I used to weigh 420, so I have extra skin from the time I lost all that weight. So, that combining with this now, it's giving me more extra skin, and with the scar and the pain, when it feels like, it just feels like something's going to fall out of my stomach soon, like it's going to pop out and go guts out everywhere. So, this shirt actually helps. It holds everything in. Um, it's a yoga shirt. I wanted to get like, you know, body compressed or something, like a bodysuit type of thing. However, it's very difficult to find one and I want to lose enough weight that I don't have to buy another one in two or three weeks. So, hopefully in a couple of weeks I get to buy one. Maybe around roughly around 250, 260 around there, but not right now because I know I'm going to lose, you know, more weight and then I have to go to buy another one in two or three weeks and they're not cheap. I guess that's it on it. Just do what you gotta do to get through it. Uh, right now, I'm at the beach parked here. Let me show you the view. <laughs> it's pretty much these already because, you know, it's still chilly. I don't know if you can see if I'm pointing the right way because I'm putting my phone backwards so I can't see where you see right now. But, um... 
it's nice out here. It's a bit muggy, but it feels good. I've been walking around for 20 minutes, just got in the car to make this video because I need to rest for a minute. I do take naps. Not on purpose. I don't plan them. <sighs> Excuse me. Excuse me, excuse me. So, um, there's times where at 2 o'clock and I'm going to be watching TV. Now, next thing you know, my alarm's going off at 4 or 5 o'clock saying, pick up your boyfriend. So, <laughs> I make sure my alarm is on every single day. If I have to run errands or something, it's on at a particular time, like it happened before I have to leave. Just in case I do fall asleep. That's how much I fall asleep. Um, it's like basically I'm pregnant woman. I just fall asleep anywhere, anytime. <laughs> just when I'm relaxed, I'm just dead, just set asleep. Um, yes, I actually fell asleep for like three hours, and that was a shock. My alarm went off at six, and I fell asleep around three, and I was like, oh my god, what just happened? I was just after I ate, too. I was watching TV after I ate, and just like light on, TV on, everything on, I just fall asleep. So, I know I'm just rambling on any old thing at this point. <laughs> But you got my numbers. I was 316 when the journey started, 305 when I went to surgery, 288 my first week out. Now I'm 285. Hopefully by next week I want to get down to 270, not 270, 280. I mean, yeah, 15 pounds in one week. Yeah, not gonna happen. <laughs> um, 280 by the time my third week. So. Wish me luck. I have not started the gym yet. My schedule to start the gym is June 4th. Um, that's when my hold is up. I can actually go early if I want to, but I don't want to because I can't even move that much as it is. I'm not going to pay 50 bucks when I can barely use the gym now. So I'll wait for June 4th to start my next month. So. Oh, excuse me. I told you I get tired. And so that's it. I'm time for me to go home and put some thing in my belly, some food. Usually I carry a, a little lunch bag with me, but I was not planning to come here. I do have a my protein drink. Um, but I need food. Can't survive on just protein drink. So that's it. Oh, one other thing. We did went out to Pita Pit here in Rochester um, a couple days ago and <laughs> I hear everybody talk about going to restaurants stuff like that the looks and the comments and all this stuff it is funny when they give you this strange look like going on really um, so my boyfriend ordered a pita a chicken pita full of the vegetables and a um, we peed and everything and when I went to order I I was like I know this guy sounds strange but all I want is the chicken and they're like okay I'm like yes yeah, small chicken that's it just small <laughs> um I did pay full price I'm not gonna argue with them to pay a different price than what they charge because that's what they charge I know what I'm ordering I'm not gonna get mad about that it's my choice it's my choice for surgery I know it's gonna get it before so it's not people from Peter Pit fault that I'm going to get charged $7 for something that's like this amount. Um, it's crazy, yes. It is, but what can I do, right? So, I ordered the chicken. When they were cooking it, I asked them to put a little bit of red peppers and a little bit of onion saute with the chicken. And when it came time to put it in a the plate, they were like, do you want a white pita or a wheat pita? I was like, no pita. They're like, do you want lettuce? I was like, nothing. Just the way that they just gave me the strangest look ever. They're like, okay. And they gave me this container. And it's like a little bit of chicken. And like, it's fine. It was kind of amusing. My boyfriend just kept on making faces at me on purpose to make me laugh. And it's just so funny. And it took me forever to eat that. By the time he was done with his pita wrap, I was still eating my chicken. So... Um, he teased me because he's like, you only take two bites and you're done. I'm like, I can't help it. But it is what it is. So that's that. You know, you go out in public with your friends, families, whoever, or by yourself and you order something strange. You could order your way. Trust me. But don't get upset when you have to pay $8 for something that, you know, you can make for a penny at home. It's not the company's fault, the restaurant's fault, anybody's fault. Not even your own fault, really. 
why you eat so little, you know, it's just what you choose to do with your life. It's the same way I choose to do this in my life. So I'm not going to get upset at anybody else. They have to charge me $7 for the tiniest amount of chicken ever. <laughs> so, that's my tip for you. Um, I did went to Wendy that I did get mad at them, actually. Um, I asked for a large cup with ice and water. That's it. And they're like, we can't serve you ice and water. I was like, what do you mean? I If I go in there myself, would I, that's a drive through I went to the drive through But if I go there myself, then... I can just order a large cup of drink and just get water if I wanted to from the fountain. But they said they cannot serve us water. I was like, okay, I'll pay for the full price of the of a Coke, a large Coke. I just want water. They're like, well, we could give you a bottle of water. I'm like, no, but I want it really icy cold. So they gave me a hard time about it. Um, they finally gave me a cup of ice and the bottle of water, which that was a compromise, which I was okay with that in a way, but I wasn't because I was driving. How the hell am I going to drive, excuse my language, but how the hell am I going to drive and pour water on the ice and then try to drink it while driving when you can't use a straw? It's just like, this is just inconvenient. A giant inconvenience. And I was, I was upset with Wendy's on that one. But, you know, not too little, so I'm going to be like, oh my god, I'm never going to order that from me again, you know. Like I said, it is what it is. You just got to deal with it. And move on. So, this this video is already longer than I expected. It's 11 minutes, 35 seconds, so I'm going to stop it right here. And hopefully see you guys in a week with my third week update. Hopefully I'm down to 280. Five pounds. Talk to you later.